All right, in this video, I'm gonna do a super fast and easy install of this carbon monoxide, propane, and natural gas detector. Ripping this thing open, I had to go get some scissors, but I'm putting this in because a lot more people are using my basement now that it's partially better, kind of better, it's getting better, at least better than it was. And although I do have carbon monoxide detection down there, I don't have anything for the natural gas. There's no propane in my basement, but the furnace is there and the hot water heater's there. So I will plug in the nine volt battery that comes with this thing. It looks like you can wall mount it and it doesn't necessarily have to plug directly into an outlet. You could actually hang it external and use that plug-in with the power adapter. So turning it on with just the battery, it obviously works because that's the battery backup. And like I said, it will detect carbon monoxide, but obviously what I wanna do is have it sense for natural gas and propane. So I'm gonna try it out with the propane. Just turn on the propane cylinder. I obviously should have cleaned the cheese off my grill last time I used it, but I'll just bake that off. And not sure why I went into uh, vertical filming here, but sometimes that happens when you make YouTube videos. Anyway, that's what it sounds like. It does work. And one thing I would point out is I smelt the gas before the sensor went off. So I think my nose is more sensitive than the, than the actual uh, detector. Anyway, I'm going to plug it in right beside the hot water heater and furnace initially, and I'm going to run up the furnace high and I'm going to use some hot water so that the hot water heater kicks on, see if it does anything. And I'm probably going to actually end up installing it near my stairs and not necessarily directly beside my, my furnace because obviously that plug-in is going to be for a power vent hot water heater in the future. Anyway, ran up the furnace, ran up the hot water heater. No natural gas was detected, so I'm going to plug this in by the stairs and now when people are using the basement, if there is a problem, it'll obviously have an alarm to it. Anyway, pretty fast and easy. This was on sale for about 40 bucks Canadian and really only takes minutes to install. Thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.